Happy Friday, Quakes! Welcome back to QTV. We have a great show for you today. On today's show, we will watch the world premiere of the much-anticipated documentary, a go-behind-the-scenes of a school podcast that's making a lot of noise. All of that and more in episode two of Quaker TV. And it all starts now! Episode 2 of Quaker TV. I'm Lance. And I'm Mitchie, and here are your announcements for Friday, October 21st. Seniors, the Rotary Service Above Self Award application is now available on the local scholarships page in your Google Classroom, or a copy can be picked up in the guidance office. Our club will be having their next meeting on Monday, October 24th at 2.50. Please let Ms. Arner know if you plan to join our club but cannot attend this meeting. Reminder to students interested in taking any AP tests in May 2023. Forms of money are due to Ms. Altenhoff in the guidance office by Thursday, November 10th. Everyone here at SHS knows Coach Brock, but do you know the man behind the myth? Our own Micah Fox sat down with the man himself to learn more about who he is. We'll get the first ever documentary about Coach Brock. Let's see what he had to say. Hank Brock, a name to be feared. My name is Mr. Goddard. I am a social studies teacher here at Salem High School. You've worked with Coach Brock? Oh, for 18 years. When people think of Salem, I think Hank Brock. My personal experience with Coach Brock, oh, it's been really good. He's, he's a great colleague, fun to be around. And he's a great cook. The effects, or the after effects on the kids, they're terrified. Yeah. I can see the terror when they first get here, but after, after a while, yeah. My name is Hank Brock. At this point, I'm the associate principal. I began here as a teacher, went to be dean, I went to be Dean of Students after that, then Assistant Principal, then for whatever reason they changed my title to uh, Associate Principal. I believe this is my, I, believe, I started coaching here as a strength coach in 01, started teaching here in 02, so uh, it's about 22 years I guess. Not much to tell, I grew up in Youngstown, Ohio, north side and south side, made a lot of friends there, had a great time. I started playing rugby back in about 84 or so, had a great time doing that, made some, met some great people, broke my neck, ended my rugby career after about seven years, still had a good time. I was in the Marine Corps before that, did all kinds of stuff, went to a bunch of different colleges, and through it all, I've had a lot of fun. I was in the Marine Corps for seven years. At the end, I was a sergeant, and I was in charge of a food service platoon. Uh, we traveled all over the place, uh, did a variety of good things, mostly living in the woods for six or seven months um, cooking for troops. I, but I started in the uh, Marine Corps in the infantry. I was in the infantry for a while as a regular rifleman. And um, after that, went to uh, motor transport, got bored. Uh, food service came open as a uh, school opportunity, so I jumped on it. the Mahoney County Juvenile Justice Center. I worked in the juvenile jail there for 11 years, uh, ending up as the assistant director of the detention facility, which is why I love this job, because working at that jail was a lot harder than this. Uh, a couple things. Uh, it was a lot easier when I was still coaching. Uh, kids got to know me a little better outside of this office and outside of the hallway. Uh, newer kids generally tend to stay away from me. Uh, some of them go through their entire high school career that way. Kids either stay away from me, take an attempt to get to know me, or just hate me for no reason. That's pretty much the way it goes with me. It's my job. I walk around and try to be scary and intimidating, because that's what I do. That's what they pay me to do. I'm not that person. That's the person here. When I leave this place, 
drive over to Mahoney County, Youngstown, I'm a completely different person. Here, I have a job to do. My personality has to change to do the job. What grade are you in? Eighth grade. What encounters have you had with Coach Brown? Not any that I can recall. Pretty good student. What is your opinion on Coach Brown? Has he intimidated you? Yes, he has rushed to lunch tables nearby mine and very much scared me. What are other students' opinions of, your, of him in your grade? I think about everyone should be scared of him. He's very scary and everyone is scared of him. How have you been affected by him? Not been affected, never been in trouble or yelled at by him. So you would say you're a relatively good kid? Yeah. Has there been any times where you've seen Coach Brock's nice side? Yeah, I, I, I can tell that he definitely has a good laugh with some of the teachers. Have you ever joked around personally or gotten to know Coach Brock? Not really. Do you think that might be why people find him scary? Yeah, I think you gotta know him from the heart and then he might be open up to you and be nice to you. The staff? Oh yeah, we're terrified. Not really. Nah. Knock it off. Just come on in here and talk to me for once. I don't invite yourself in here and get in trouble and then hate me for that. That's your own darn fault, not mine. But if you want to get to know me, talk to me. See me in the hallways. I'm very approachable. I glare at people all day because that's my job. First National Honor Society meeting for all general members will be held Thursday, October 27th at 7.15 a.m. The meeting will be held in Ms. Clark's room at 175. If you have any questions or concerns, please email her or stop by her room prior to the meeting. All Executive Board NHS members are reminded of their additional meeting on Monday, October 24th at 7.15 a.m. Lady Quakes basketball will hold their first practice and try on Monday, October 24th from 3 to 5.30 p.m. in the gym. If you have any questions, please see Coach Hamilton Phillips. Student tickets for this Saturday's football game versus West Branch at West Branch High School will be on sale today through Friday in the athletic office. Student tickets are $4. Lucas Gang sign dives into the Screaming at the Wall podcast. He goes behind the walls and documents what's the podcast all about we'll get learned about his podcast are for this group let's see how it goes you know who really doesn't like pineapples all right well my name is luke davis i am a sophomore and i've been friends with colin tim and will for a while for a while i'd say i think will is very I want to say mysterious, but I don't, I don't know him as well as the other boys. But I'll, I, I definitely want to get to know him a little better. Colin is, yeah, he's, he's tall. There's, he's funny too, I guess. And then Big Timmer, ooh. I think there's, there's a million words to use about Tim. I think he's creative, not tall. Some might say not big. But that's all right, Timmy's got it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, when three people meet each other and get very close, they decide they want to start a podcast. And that's just, we thought it was a good time. Well, I was just sitting here. We were all stumped for a name. And I said, what about Screaming at the Void? And we liked that idea to a degree. And then it slowly shifted into Screaming at a Wall. And here we are. Four podcast episodes later, two logos later, <laughs> and I would just say my graphic design has gotten so much better. If you look at our Instagram and you see the first post, that is my um, insane graphic design. And if you look at our current logo now, you'll see Colin's terrible graphic design. It took him three weeks. We like, to, we like to downgrade. We like to downgrade as much as possible. Well, speaking of future episodes, our next one is probably going to be our biggest episode yet. We have four special guests, which we cannot close at this time. But let's just say one of them 
Sounds like Mabe Gurry. I think they're very unique in how they do it. Uh, their intro song also is very, very different than most people. And they're, they kind of just like, they're random. But that's what makes it good, is that they're not, they're not set to one topic. And they'll just, they'll be unique and they're, I don't know. Again, they're, they're unique. We'll stay with that. Have you ever heard of a Salem podcast that has a GoFundMe? Not until screaming at a wall, you didn't. Have you ever heard of a podcast that has money in their GoFundMe? Well, you still haven't. <laughs> Please donate. We are still at zero dollars. Um, our goal is nineteen dollars. We need a nineteen dollar Fortnite card as soon as possible. We would really appreciate it. And please know that none of the money is going to charity. Some of the most intellectual knowledge that I've been able to grasp has been from our segment Big Thoughts with Big Tim. And, you know, just Big Tim being the big man that he is, um, you know there's always going to be big thoughts coming from his big brain and his big head. And it's just fantastic. My favorite segment would have to be the, the breaking news. Uh, I love our intro for it, and the, the news we get is always so quality every time. My favorite is easily a secret revealed, because that's our chance to really connect with viewers and help them on a deep and personal level, which other podcasts won't give you that personal connection. I think Secret Reveals really um, mirrors what our podcast is all about, because our slogan is, it's never too late to seek help. It's It's never never too too late late to seek help. help. That sounded scary. (laughs) (laughs) It's never too late. And Secret Reveals shows that it's never too late to seek help. We're here for you. We love you. We desire you. I've had podcasts with them now. Uh, I've had two of them on my podcast as well. Uh, at Turnover 203, hit me up. Hey, this is our podcast interview. You know what? We're done. We're heading out of here. Junior high only. The junior high Lady Quakers basketball team will hold tryouts October 24th through 26th from 3.15 to 5 p.m. at the Salem Centerplex. If you have any questions, please see Coach Ziegler. That's all for episode two for QTV. I'm Mitchie. And I'm Lance. Have a great weekend, Quakes, and be West Branch.